Hey there! Welcome back! This is Lesson 6 of Beginner Guitar 101 for Grown-Ups. Glad you made it! I hope you're having fun. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use a guitar pick, in particular for strumming, and I'll give you some tips on getting a good smooth strum. The two things that students often have a hard time with, one is changing chords on time, and the other one is getting a smooth strum without the pick falling out on the ground. Now, let me mention also, you don't have to use a pick. And I actually even like brand new beginners sometimes to just start strumming chords with their thumb. And you can even do up and down. I use my fingers on a nylon string guitar and can do quite a bit of strumming. But we'll get into that later. I'll, I'll have a lesson on the nylon string guitar, finger style. It is good to learn to use a pick, at least at some point, if you're going to play a steel string acoustic guitar. So let me show you how to place the pick in your fingers. First of all, I'm taking the pick in my left hand. I'm going to wrap my first finger into itself and place the pick on top of the first knuckle. Now I'm going to wrap my thumb over it so that the bottom of the pick is sticking out. Now if I roll back my thumb a little bit, I can press on the back part of the pick and it'll still wobble. And you want that wobble. The wobble is what will help you get a smoother strum. Now let me show you that one more time. I'm going to curl the first finger in, place on my roughly first knuckle and thumb over it, then roll my thumb back a little bit. So it looks like this when I'm strumming. Now, there is another way that I see some people use the pick, and that's they kind of point it a little bit more. The finger and the thumb are more pointing like this. It sounds more like this. Generally, a little lighter sound. So, I didn't see which one you like best. Feel free to experiment. Also, when the pick falls out, it usually means that you're just not tightening up enough on the back end. And it'll happen. It just takes practice. By the way, I'm using here a medium pick. I usually recommend that for beginners. A lighter pick will actually make it a little easier to strum, but harder to play uh, bass notes if you're going to play bass notes at some point. A thick pick is great for playing melodies, but not easy to strum with. Usually for a beginner, a medium is a good bet. Or if you're just going to do strumming and you're not worried about melodies, go for a, a thin pick. So now the picking motion is generally just back and forth. Now try this with me. Put the pick in your finger and your thumb over it and just move up and down. About equal distance from the sound hole on each side. Think of it like a of those uh, pendulum motions up and down. Most of the strums you'll be doing will involve up and down constant motion. So get used to it. And the best way to do that is just practice hand over the strings and just practice up and down. You're getting used to the feel of the pick in your hand and how it sounds on the strings. Here's a little tip. Turn your wrist slightly. On the way down, you leave it up, and then on the way up, you turn it slightly the other way. So the motion is part in your elbow and part with your wrist going back and forth. It's just about equal, I'd say even a little more in the wrist. It's definitely not this stiff wrist. Oh, I'd have a heck of a time getting a smooth strum like that. Move the wrist. And relax. You have to relax the wrist to get it to sound smooth. It just takes practice. Try practicing putting the pick in your hand and doing this basic down-up strumming motion. After you've done that a little while, come on back for lesson number seven, and we're going to have some fun. See you soon.